I want to tell you something. Tonight is Hanukkah. And I've been out all day going shopping for Hanukkah. A few days ago, I had to get... My wife has to buy Hanukkah plates. Want me to? Yeah. A few days ago, Andrew said I had to get tires for the car. If you can look here, you see what's going on here. This is the weather we have. So I went, of course I always wait for the last minute, so I went to get tires for the car. The tires cost me over $600. Six, I said, why do we need tires? Well, there's, there's no treads on the tires. I said, there's still rubber there. I, I went to kick the tire, my boot, you know, bounced off. There's rubber. What else do I need? That's what the tire is. I'm not riding on the, the cylinders. I'm riding on... I have to get the tires. So I went to the Goodyear fire store. I said, I'd like to buy one tire. There's one tire. I said, how many tires do I need? I said, you got to go off for $600, over $600. It would have been closer to nine. I just came back from buying Hanukkah toys for the kids. It cost me over $500. I'm not finished yet. I usually spend $2,000 or three, two to three thousand dollars. I used to get for the Hanukkah kids, kids, my kids, for Hanukkah toys, the Toys R Us, but they're older now, so they want video games and rock band, whatever the bullshit they want. Today, they spent over $500 for Hanukkah toys. Of course, I wait to the last minute tonight, Hanukkah. Hey, so at $600, over $600 for tires on Friday, $500 today for Hanukkah toys. Forty and I aren't giving anything to each other. Forty-five dollars at the pet store for the dog. He had to get his Hanukkah toys. For the dog. Twenty-five dollars for Hanukkah and jelly donuts today. Twenty-two dollars at the Jewish store to get the dreidels and the <laughs> and lights for the Hanukkah menorah, whatever it is. I already lost track of how much I just spent. Um, last night I spent one hundred thirty dollars at taking the family out to dinner. Whatever it is, it, it, if you can figure what I just spent already so far, I've already spent. Over, I think, $1,200 already. Uh, oh, and then chocolates we had to get for the neighbors next across the street. The, the neighbors moved in. And we have to get the little kids little chocolate dreidels, whatever else. I must have spent over $1,200 from Friday till today, two days. Is that what you normally spend in two days? $1,200? Now, if I lost that gambling, and I love to gamble, I would feel like shit. I'd feel horrible. Even though I, I would have fun, fun, I like gambling, so it's a challenge to me. It's a game like playing Monopoly, like the kids go to the um, arcades, which I would keep giving them $100 bills to go to the arcades, and I wouldn't even think about it. So, but spending one th over $1,200 between Friday and now, if I was at the casino in one day, two days, and lost that, lost it, chasing after my money, trying to win it back, I feel horrible. And we say, how much you win? How much you I say, I lost $1,000. Are you crazy? $1,200? Are you out of your mind? Right. Because when I gamble, people think I'm a big gambler. Somebody told me, oh, one of my friends saw I at the roulette table in Las Vegas spending 5000 a spin. <laughs> well, perception is reality. Whatever they think I am, that's what I am. But where, $5, maybe. If you're ever in Las Vegas, you can always find me at the Benny Binion crap table, a 50-cent crap table. Well, they don't have 50 cents anymore. Now it's $3. But you'll find me there. Even that's too much for you. <laughs> Even that's too much because I go to lots of fun and play the $2 crap table. That used to be a dollar. But that's where you'll find me. But a crap table to me, they're all the same. Just the limits are different. Whether I played the $2 crap table, it's lots of fun. The $3 crap table at Casino Royale, even though I stay at the Venetian, stay at the win, but I go to those places because at Caesars, the crap tables are $50. Uh, table minimums, $25, $50 table minimums, and at the win, a table minimum is $15. But it's all the same, it's all the same crap table, it's all the same roulette table, they're all the same, only the minimums are different, so it doesn't matter to me what dollar amount I play, it's like to play, so why do I have to play $50 a hand when I can play $2 a hand, it's the same thing. So, if I lost $1,200 gambling, I'd feel horrible. You could, you could treat yourself, yeah, you're right, because... When I just spent one thousand two hundred thousand two days, I'm, I, I don't look at it. Well, I just lost six hundred dollars on tires, and I just lost five hundred dollars buying video games for my kids. I don't think of it like that. So, why, when I treat myself, I feel like I feel guilty if I spend a thousand? But I'm gonna say, well, I just spent one thousand two hundred dollars on these bags and five hundred for the kids. So I'm gonna take five hundred dollars and spend it on myself gambling. I'm gonna take. I spent six hundred dollars on the tires. I'm going to take $600, but I'm going to go to the casino now and gamble, and if I lose so what if I can spend it on the tires and the kids, I can spend it on myself. But I don't think like that. So when I gamble, I, I gamble to win. I, I know you say everybody gambles to win. No, that, that's not true. I can tell you lots of stories about the way people gamble, and they throw chips all over the place. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm very strategic. I'm very strategic how I play. And You're just not strategic about how you spend I'm just not strategic how I spend money, as you can see now. So I just wanted to let you know, and I'm trying to go over my head, I gotta treat myself now. Uh, how can I go get some sour cream and some apple sauce for you?
Why? You're going to treat yourself. You're going to have latkes tonight. Uh, I'm going to have a potato latkes tonight. So, I just want to let you know, i got to treat my... i got to take a thousand dollars for myself. i got to go gamble. Because cause I... What do I get? I, I would not have taken a thousand. I, I go to... I go to... DVD stores. Oh, I like to buy that DVD with the Beverly Hillbillies box set for forty-four dollars. I didn't want to spend the money. It was a twenty-five dollar box set of, of Animal House behind the features. That, I don't want to spend. But I just went. And I spent five hundred dollars for the kids for their, without thinking twice about. Oh, he wants uh, the Call of Duty and he wants NBA Nine and he wants Rock Band. It's the whole box set for two. I didn't think twice. Whatever it is, here it is. Two hundred dollars. Five hundred. Right there it is. Here's the guy that's it. I didn't think twice. <laughs> But when I'm at the store to, to get a DVD for myself, for, I look at I look at the price. Well, is it worth forty four dollars? What the hell is the matter with me? Go to DavidBronstein.com and tell me what the hell is the matter with me? Why can I not spend money on myself, treat myself for the stuff that I want to, that I get pleasure out of? Because I'm a hedonist. I live for pleasure. I do everything to make me happy. Or do I? <laughs> That's all I did. Because I'm spending money on everyone else except myself. Uh, I don't get it. Who's going to buy me Hanukkah presents tonight? I got nobody buy me. I don't even buy myself a Hanukkah present. Go to DavidBronson.com and tell me, why won't I buy myself a Hanukkah present? That's all I want to know. And I just spent $500 on the kids and, 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 and $20 on the kids across the kids across the street. I don't even know who the hell they are. I bought them Hanukkah presents. Go to DavidBronson.com and email me a Hanukkah present. Goodbye.